Hey, you guys. Um, uh, I may be taking a break from YouTube just for a little bit because um, and I'm still going to be trying to see if I can post those lost videos. But now I'm having trouble downloading them to my phone so I can get them on my channel. But I'm going to try my best to do that. And the only reason why I said I might be taking a break soon is because I need to work on better content. I need to work on some brand new fun content. I tried doing this thing called the episodes so where I talk for about 25 to 30 minutes. But honestly, nobody want to sit through those. So I'm going to go back to making my videos or vlogs, show and tell, tutorials, whatever, um, 15 minutes or under. So that's going to be the time for all my videos, period, is 15 minutes or under. Maybe 20 minutes at the most, but I'm not even going to try to get more than 15 minutes. And I say that because I need to kind of take a step back, especially since the new year is, in a, is approaching. And I think my next video after this, I may have to make it next year. So that way I can really get my mind together on what kind of content do I really want to do. I have to work up finding creativity. I have to work on trying to find things that are worth watching. So that way y'all don't get bored and y'all don't unsubscribe. Even though I had some people unsubscribe, but that's okay because out with the old and with the new. And I have to look at you know, a lot of people say the algorithm change and all this other stuff. I'm thinking, okay, that's great. But I want to make sure that I'm putting up really good, interesting content. And if y'all don't like my videos, maybe y'all know somebody who may can relate to my videos. I don't know. But I am going to try to do something because my videos been sucky lately. Like, <sighs> I don't like my videos lately. And I'm going to post the lost videos as much as I can find. And some of them are going to suck. <laughs> I'm just going to let y'all know that now. But I feel like that's the point of me trying to really find myself to find out what content I really want to do. And like I said, most of them, some of the videos are going to be abruptly cut off, which means they have no ending because I never finished them. But I wanted to at least post those anyway to show you guys this is what I was trying to do. Or... I don't know. Maybe I should go back and finish them and then post them. But I don't know. I don't know if that's what I want to do. So um, I'm probably going to be taking a little break into next year. Um, still getting some lost videos up there. But I'm not going to really be posting live or like me today on Wednesday what I'm doing. Because I just need to kind of take a step back and reevaluate, recreate and really see what kind of video should I do? What kind of content do I want to put up here? You know, and I noticed that a lot of YouTubers do take a step back. They take a break because real life happens and you don't want to miss out on real life things. And some things don't need to be recorded. And you just want to make sure that you're not all up on social media and making social media your priority. Sometimes you want to take a step back, get in tune with what's going on right in front of you. Um, Get some things situated. Sometimes there could be health issues that people may be going through, family problems, financial problems. And sometimes people don't feel like getting up on the camera all the time, making content and giving videos. But I'm trying my best to stay consistent as I can. But if there is a situation to where I need to take a step back to give myself time for myself, I'm going to do that. And... I think I may fast from Instagram for a while, even if I have to, even if I have to, um, what do you call it? Even if I have to unload the app from my phone just to make sure I stay away from it, you know, eventually I may have to do something like that, but because it's like, it's just not, it's not social media is eh now, you know? And I feel like YouTube and Twitter and TikTok, I can control myself on those, on those things. Because whatever short video I do on Instagram, I will save it to my phone and upload that same one on my TikTok that killed two birds with one stone. And I don't have to worry about because I already got two TikTok channels. And the second one, I didn't want everybody following. But, um... Uh, 
I'm going to try to do something with it. But anyway, y'all, I am going to be reevaluating, really thinking and writing down the kind of content I want to create and upload for 2024. And like I said, I'm not, oh, I have a new year's resolution. It's going to be a new year, new me. No, it's going to be the same me. Just a lot of things I need to work on. The only thing that's going to change is the year, the new year. That's it. I mean, I can change my attitude. I can change my way of thinking. I can change my draws. Of course, that that's a must. All right. I ain't trying to come over here with funky draws. Come on now. Anyway, but I am going to be changing some things because I'm looking back on the videos that I've been posting and I have 226 subscribers, which I'm truly grateful for. I've worked hard for y'all. I really did. And y'all could have been, you know, people said you could have been anywhere else, but you chose to be on my channel. That's true. Nobody had to look at my content. My content is bald headed, whatever. But I want to recreate more fun things. I want to work and take my time and really edit things the right way. Because sometimes too, when your video look good and you have a nice intro and it's animated and it's nice, it's going to attract people to want to watch that video. And throughout the video, if you do like a 15 minute vlog and you have like about three clips, you know, and they're like really, really good clips, it's going to attract people to be like, okay. So I want to try to work on that. So I'm going to download some kind of editor thing on my phone to see and to really take my time and edit, you know, before I just put it out there. Because I've just been putting videos out there. I haven't really been taking my time to give you guys a proper intro. Um, and I want to make sure I work on that. You know, maybe every year work on nice, good quality type of intro and then put music behind it and you know put my little signature eye rolling thing do something with that because that's 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 what i want to give a lot of times people's videos and vlogs and stuff don't get viewed because number one when you get on your channel you're like hey everybody what's up everybody it's real ball and nobody wants to watch the video look i'm i'm in a good mood i ain't trying to watch a vlog or a youtube video and you feeling like that with that type of energy because this is going, I don't care how good the rest of the clips are. It has to be the same energy throughout the whole video. And I understand life happens and you want to get on camera and still give your followers and your subscribers, you know, good content. But sometimes you don't be feeling like it. And that's why people need to take a step back if they need it to work on whatever emotional, whatever you're going through. And then you can come back on here with a pep in your step like, yeah, it's time to do this video. Now, what's up, everybody? It is Roche Ball, y'all. You see what I'm saying? And then every now and then I will wonder, what happened to this subscriber? Like I was subscribed to her. Now she says she was going to do Vlogmas every day, but now she, she gone. And then she had to take a break. He has to take a break. And then when they come back on a video, they're like, sorry, y'all, life happens. And like I said, they don't go in detail about what happened, but I understand. I immediately understand that. Yep. And it makes me, I still subscribe. I'm still subscribed to some people, but if I don't see people for years, 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 I used to unsubscribe because I'm thinking, but now I'm thinking, okay, maybe that person been through something personal, maybe it was a death in the family or maybe that person may have went through a huge loss and you just never know what people are going through as to the reason why they have to take a step back from social media from recording on youtube and tiktoks and all of that life happens people got to get healthy they got to get mentally stable they got to get their finances together they probably want to be in a whole new place maybe they're in a crappy situation to where they're just being attacked or whatever it is so you know them taking a step back and taking a beat and a breather from social media is needed. And I, I'm not telling y'all something that y'all don't already know. Because you guys are content creators and y'all y'all have to do the same thing. So, but I was thinking about taking a break for maybe a week or so to really figure out what kind of content I want to give to my real shenanigans. What kind of, you know, what would interest, interest them? For one thing, I got to start editing. I got to put up a theme song, whatever I may have. I'm going to try to do something. Um, <clears throat> and I want to make sure, even if it's just a five minute video, still put my intro on there and still put the like, comment, and subscribe. I used to dabble into that, but I feel like I kind of want to work on it more. I'm using things like PowerDirector. I used to use Video Show. 
to kind of edit my videos in a, what is it, K-Master? Something. But I'm going to start getting into that again because if I'm supposed to be in school for digital art and design and animation, I got to start doing some editing and lighting and, you know, drawings and making the drawings move so I can have something nice for my channel. I think that that is what one thing that will attract people to want to watch your videos is really good editing. And then inside of that good editing, the, the content and the quality of the videos, like right now I'm taping from my actual personal phone. I have no other device that will allow me to tape with clear content that you can hear me better. I got my phone until I'm able to invest in a camera and lightings and booms and ring lights and all that. I have what I have and I work with it and I make it work. And that's all I got. So, I came on here to say that. Um, I'm probably going to take a step back from creating content like this. Where y'all can see me today, Wednesday now, December 27th, 2023. And I'm just going to just keep uploading little bitty shorts and videos that I have. And hopefully, they'll be interested enough to get views. Um, if not, then I know what I need to work on. Don't get insulted if I don't, I'm not going to get insulted if I don't get a lot of views. And if, even if some of you choose to unsubscribe, I can't get insulted. I just got to step my YouTube P up. Okay. Lack of a better word. I got to step it up. Step my game up. There's a lot of content creators out there that really take the time out to put in some good stuff. Even with their TikToks, even with their, their, their Instagram shorts and reels and stuff. And I got to make sure I put some good stuff up there. And if I'm going to vlog, I have to be consistent with it. There are times when I try to vlog and I said, forget this, never mind. And I'll just turn the camera off and I wouldn't even finish the video because in my mind, it's going to suck and nobody's going to watch it. And I'm going to get discouraged and not want to ever do vlogs again. Oh my gosh. But now I'm at the point where I'm like, let me work on it. Let me take the time out to work on it. So... I may start doing quite a few vlogs next year, but just that this year I got to really, really work on it. You know, don't be so quick to upload something so fast. Let it take a couple days, work on a vlog and edit it for like about a week if need be to make sure I'm putting some good stuff out there. You know, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get today started. I don't really have anything planned today. Because it's my winter break and Christmas already passed, thank the goodness. And I'm not going to be doing too much of anything, but just chilling, getting rest. I'm going to be redoing my hair. As you guys can see, look. I'm going to be redoing it. Um, Because my mom gave me some more hair, but it's a different color. And I may go on Amazon. Or, hmm, dang, but that beauty supply don't sell expressions hair. Cause that's all I've been using to braid my hair lately is expressions. I do have other hair for my easy hair. Like I have blue hair. I may put a little of that up in there. Yes, I yeah, I think I may put some blue hair up in there. I also have a part of me want to go to that beauty supply place and buy that white platinum white hair that made me look like Storm from X-Men. I might buy some of that because I want to mix it. Doing just black is cute. It's cute. But after a while, if I don't do it now, I'm definitely going to do it kind of closer to the summer. Because I want to put some red in my hair. Oh, and also, let me show you all this too. My mom had also gave me, let me see if I can find it. She gave me this type of hair too. Let me show you. That's how we roll. That's just how we roll. It's twisty hair. This will look like. Okay, so y'all can get a better look at it. So I can twist my hair with this. But I'm probably not going to twist the hair until... I may even do this hair to do in the summer. Because, you know, my friend asked me. He was like, do you ever... You like dreadlocks? Do you wear dreadlocks? Because he likes all natural everything. Even hair up under the arm. And I'm like, hmm. Oh, yeah. Some things you're going to have to gradually work work on. 
getting used to, but um, I don't, I don't know if I want straight dreadlocks just now because I'm mean, right now because I change my hair so often and I like to wear different hairdos. Plus, I got you know quite a few wigs, and I don't know if the bulk of dreadlocks is gonna like be comfortably put and look flat underneath my wigs, and I'm not trying to have real dreadlocks right now. I would do faux locks and let my hair grow, my natural hair grow, so that way it can look more natural. But that's as far as it's going to go. But actually putting real dreadlocks in my hair, no. If there's certain things, you know, I have to have. When you, let's just say you're getting in a new relationship or whatever, or you meeting new friends, but mainly if you're getting in a new relationship, because I don't think too many you know, if you're a guy and you got a lot of homeboys, or if you're a girl, you got a lot of homeboys and home guys or whatever. Um Friends don't usually always try to say, Do you like dreadlocks? You look so good with dreadlocks, because we all got dreadlocks, so no. I'll be that friend that's different because I like doing what everybody else is doing. No. There's too many nice hairdos out there that I want to experiment with doing, and I feel like I'm not going to just up and change to dreadlocks for a man that's not going to make me his wife. And then they say, no, I regret the hairdo that I did. No. Sometimes people do come into your life to kind of, and it changes you a little bit for the better. But at the same time, it's like, no, I, I've been there and done that before. And I'm not changing myself for now. Now another nigga. Not doing that. Nope. But anyway, you guys, I'm just going to go ahead and get my day started. Like I said, I ain't got really nothing much to do today. I think I might go out and get me something to eat and then come right back. But that's all I have. So again, I may take a step back from YouTube for a while until I can gather my thoughts. I need to have the energy and I need to be enthusiastic about taping and all of that. So I'm going to get to that. I'm going to take all my nails off until I finish the majority of my hair. Because I'm going to redo it. Look at that. Look like a fuzzy nest in there. See? It's time to change them. At first I was like, the rule is you can't change your braids. You can't take your, your braids until you're not able to see your scalp. But my hair has been growing a lot since I had it in braids. Look at all that new growth. So yeah, I should take out one braid at a time and then just do it like I did before. Because if I take a bunch of them out. And then try to redo that. I'm not going to feel like it. So that's what I'm going to do. And that's it. So you guys, if I do decide to come on camera again, y'all might gradually see me change it because it's going to be a different color. I think I still may go to the beauty supply place and get me a whole other color though. It just won't be expressions, but I'll work with it. All right. So that's called, that's my video.